Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number 11. Um, all cards ship. No twins. Twins are all donated. And, you know, four autographs, a box, so this should be a lot of fun. I think everyone loves Bowman's Best. It's a pretty, pretty big fan favorite here at Jaspies. So thanks everybody here for uh, getting in on the action on a Tuesday. Josh, Last Bot Mojo Angels. Thanks to him, and thanks everybody for filling this up and knocking this out. I know we got Arthur in a break, too. Got the Diamondbacks in this? It's been a minute or two. So good luck to you, Arthur. Good luck to everybody. Hopefully everyone have had a good holiday. There it is, 2468. Who do we appreciate? I appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to everybody who supported us all 2020. I know it was a weird year, but we kind of made it, I guess. And I don't think they have, they have no, no shrink wrap on, on the mini boxes this year. Usually there are. The top saving that, uh, that shrink wrap run money. The, uh, the, the hot stove wasn't that hot, ladies and gentlemen. But now there seems to, it seems to be some uh, things heating up here. So the Padres are the ones making the big splash. Looks like San Diego officially announced the trade earlier tonight. Cubs will pay $3 million of Darvish's remaining money. Darvish has 62 mil left on his contract. Not the previously reported 59 because of incentives he reached for finishing second in 2020 NL Cy Young voting. So Cubs are sending you Darvish and Victor Caratini to San Diego. And the Cubs will get Zach Davies, Reginald uh, Preciado, Jason Santana, and outfielder's own Cassie and Ishmael Mena in return. Pending all the medical stuff, of course. Now, the Padres also moved uh, catcher Francisco Mejia. Is that why they want Carantini back? And so, yeah, they got Blake Snell from the Rays. And then Luis Patino, Francisco Mejia, Mejia, Blake Hunt, and Cole Wilcox going the other way to Tampa Bay, pending medicals. For Shogo Akiyama to 250 for the Reds. That's for EA. These are not numbered. It looks like parallels because of the color, but they're not. And there's our first autograph, Anthony K for the Blue Jays. Steve Wright with the Bluebirds. Looks like the Padres making a lot of uh, a lot of moves the last couple of days. I wonder if that's the domino that falls to to unlock some other. I don't know. Unlock some more moves, more trades. We got Josh Stomont, 11 out of 150 for the Royals. That'll be for Henry Benson and KC. There's a Torkelson right there. And Tyler Soderstrom. For the A's going to I Capola. Mm -hmm. 
And we've got Pete Crow Armstrong for the Metropolitans Armando with the Mets. There's Jorge Soler right there. Remember, all card ships, so you'll be getting everything that you see. Twin sign Hansel Robles. Phillies acquire Jose Alvarado in a three-team deal with the Rays and Dodgers. I don't think anything too significant there. Dodgers sign Tommy Canley to a two-year deal. Padres also sign signing Kim Ha Sung, a uh, Korean infielder, to a four-year deal. Gregory Polanco fractures his wrist. Where's some other, some other news happening here? Justin Smoke looked like he's going to be playing in Japan, finalizing a deal with the Yomi Uri Giants. There's a... And then the Pirates, who traded Josh Bell to the Nationals last week, and now Joe Musgrove is gaining keen interest on the people who missed out on the Blake Snell sweepstakes. Not that the two are... You know, Blake Snell's a lot better than Joe Musgrove, but still. So a lot of moves happening. Maybe with a lot of teams claiming that, hey, we're, we're, you know, we're not... We don't have money for free agency. Maybe that means we're going to see more trades on the horizon. It's kind of easy to easier to speculate about, hey, who's going to go where free agent-wise, but trades, I mean, you can just drive yourself crazy coming up with all sorts of trade stuff, scenarios. There's Logan Allen for the Tribe that's going to go to Steve Wright in Cleveland. Twenty one, what's up? I mean, is this guy on the move? A lot of people have seemed to link Nolan Arenado with my Dodgers. There's Garrett Mitchell. Good penmanship there for Rory and his Brewers. There you go, Rory. But I don't know if the why would the I don't know if the Rockies would it's not like the Rockies are gonna fleece the Dodgers on a deal. Dodgers wouldn't do that. They're not gonna make it easy for him to go to a divisional rival. I don't know if that deal is really going to happen. And there's Ramon Laureano, 52 out of 150 for the dynamic outfielder going to Coppola and the A's. Richard L. saying, seems like the Cubs are trying to find a young diamond in the rough kind of type prospect in the trade. Got three prospects under 20 years old. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's definitely what they're trying. What they're trying to do. Does that mean? Does that also mean? Is Anthony Rizzo gone? At that point, you might as well just move Rizzo and move. Uh, there's Patrick Bailey for the Giants and Chris Bryant. You got to move Chris Bryant. Patrick Bailey for the Giants going to Coppola. Got the uh, Bay Area teams. The Cubs already have prospects coming up the coming up the ranks. I feel like the last couple of years. But yeah, just pull off the band aid. You know, just rip off the band aid. Move everybody for whatever you can get, and if they all kind of evolve and mature and grow as ball players around the same time. Might have a really nice team 
evolving at the same time. So I think that's something that people don't really think about too often in sports in general as a GM is you got to make sure you have a core of players that can evolve and grow at the same time. All right, Brian's got to be gone, right? Rizzo. You know what I would do at this point? I would even eat part of Jason Hayward's contract, right? I would eat part of his contract, get rid of him, unless he's a free agent already, but I'd get rid of him, eat a little money, and then try to get players back, some prospects back. You move Baez. I'm gonna have to move him too. All right, here's the next box. See now the people are wanting to do the Dodgers make a move? Do they move that guy? Where does Rizzo go if you move him? Chris Bryant has been connected to uh, to the Dodgers. One twenty-five out of two fifty. Emerson Hancock, franchise favorites, going to the Mariners. Patrick Cologne. Is Cody Bellinger purple to two fifty? That's for the Dodgers. That'll be for Coppola. We've got Anthony K. Atomic, 13 out of 25. Nice looking card for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Steve Wright. Franchise favorite Torkelson for the Tigers. 21 saying Darvish was a stud last year. Cubs took a chance on some guys that might not pan out. Time will tell how it plays out for the Cubs. True. Word. But if they catch a couple couple diamonds in the rough, you know, they're going to have a high pick in the draft, I would assume, next year, next year or two. And the Cubs are more than capable of, uh, of spending money. Nice Jared Schuster for Ben and the Braves. And so I can I can see the Cubs seeing which youngsters pan out, and then, boom, you can make a splash in the free agent market. There's Anthony Kay. Another Blue Jay autograph for Steve Wright. Well, I don't know who Chris Bryant with a C is. Nobody wants that guy, Darksiders. But I think plenty of teams would want Chris Bryant with a K. Are you telling me you, you wouldn't want Chris Bryant? Last full season, Chris Bryant hit 282, 31 home, 31 home runs, 77 RBIs, 75 walks, 150 hits, 35 doubles. A lot of a lot of teams want that. And he's only 28, 29 years old. Prime years. I mean, this, this might actually be a great buy low spot for Chris Bryant. I think a lot of teams would be all over it. Uh, 
I mean, Chris Bryant, what? He's played for six seasons, according to BaseballReference.com. His 162-game average is 280. And these are just the simple stats, but 280 batting average, averaging 31 home runs a season, and 91 RBIs, and MVP potential. Potential to have an MVP type season, absolutely. I think a lot of a lot of teams would gamble on a Chris Bryant. Which team would be putting in the most to acquire him without trading a lot of their stars in return? I think this is where you can buy low on Chris Bryant. I think that's where you can be like... I think this is where you can try not to give, give up too many stars. Bryant's on expiring deal. And he, I don't think he wants to be in Chicago anyway. I think there is still some, some sourness between the relationship between him and the organization. There's Nick Solak. I mean, any any team that might have a deep farm system could send some uh, send some depth the Cubs way with the way they've been moving Darvish. I mean, in my head, I feel like the Dodgers make more sense. Not, not that I think it's going to happen, but I think the Dodgers make more sense for Chris Bryant than um, than uh, Nolan Arenado. It's Jalen Davis for the Giants, Coppola. There's Yelich to 99 for uh, Rory and his Brewers. I think Chris Bryant probably comes at a cheaper price than Nolan Arenado. And it's not a divisional rival. I don't know if the Rockies would want to send Nolan Arenado to a divisional rival and see Arenado rake against the Rockies for the next, you know, eight years. There's Logan Webb, Giants. That's going to go to Capolo. But Chris Bryant? I can see the Dodgers chasing Chris Bryant. I'm sure they're making some phone calls. You know, maybe they move a guy like this. There's Max Meyer for the Marlins. That'll be for uh, Mr. Richard Lindsay with Fish. All right, we're halfway through this break. Got about another 20 minutes to go here. Good luck, everybody. Dodgers think, Richard thinks Dodgers go for maybe a Spencer Turnbull. Low risk, high reward. Could send a guy like Rios. Christian Santana for the Tigers. I think the Dodgers really like Edwin Rios, though. If they don't get an Arenado or a Chris Bryant, and if they don't re-sign Justin Turner, I think they actually think they'd, they'll try uh, Rios at third base. His glove isn't as bad as... It's improving. I don't think it's as bad as people initially thought it was. And he can hit for a ton. And he already has a relationship with the Dodgers, so I don't know if they really want to move that guy. And he could be the guy that, uh, that could easily slot into a DH spot if the universal DH happens in a year or two. Which sounds like it could be. <laughs> yes, Alex, I do. It was like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, there were some talks. Yeah, Lux, Lux was discussed for trade talks from Arenado. But again... You if you're the Rockies, do you send Arenado to your your divisional rivals and watch him rake against your team for the next 20, next 20, not 20 years, but next like 10 years? Maybe not 10 years, but you know what I mean. 
I don't think uh, I don't think people want to see that. I don't think Rocky's organization wants to see that. There's Yachty to 250. I think Yachty's on the market too. There's Logan Webb for the Giants. That goes to Coppola. The, oh, there, that's a. I think that's a refractor. Yes, Alex. We've already established that earlier. All right. There's Mitch Keller to one fifty Pirates. That's going to be for Eric Leal. There's Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. That's another one for Eric Leal. And we got a Jared Schuster. That's a good question. What position is Zach Veen? TJ is asking. Ben with the Braves. Infielder? Well, they say he's an outfielder. Yeah, they say he's an outfielder. No, no Bichette autos in here, Darks. I I wouldn't really hold my breath for Bichette autos. I think this this is mostly highlighting Bowman guys, Bowman type guys, prospects. Torkelson and whatnot. Guys from the twenty twenty draft class. Next box. We've got another break coming up of this Bowman's Best right after this, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, Joe, if you look at the schedule, we are booked up for the night. We Two Bowman's best. This was unexpected, but two Bowman's best breaks filled up back to back. We got to do this and then another one of those. And then that's it. We're going to call it a night after that. I will do that one box break if it fills up, but it looks like nobody's taking spots. So I think after the two Bowman's best breaks, that is that. Is that. There's Patrick Bailey, Giants. That'll be for Coppola, I Coppola. And a nice Luis Robert rookie autograph going to Jason Sadu and the Chicago White Sox. Nice. Pretty strong rookie season for him. Yeah, those rookie autos, like I said, few and far between.
There's Max Meyer. Richard Lindsay with that one, the fish. Top 10 pick maybe this year? 22. There's Yoshi Sutsugo. 61 out of 99 for the Rays. It's going to be for uh, TJ from Tampa Bay. TJ with TB. There he is, Zach Veen right there. Yeah, they're saying he's an outfielder, but I don't know. He's coming out of high school, it looks like, so that position could change. And there's Tim Anderson, another White Sox, 13 out of 50. So we got the Luis Robert, and now the Tim Anderson. I like Tim Anderson. He's pretty solid. Oh, Max Meyer was the number three overall pick. There you go. Even better. All right, two boxes to go. TJ saying it was Torkelson, Heston Kirkstad, and then Meyer. Those are, those are your top three in the 2020 draft. Eloy on this checklist, that'd be quite a trifecta. If you if there's an Eloy auto on the checklist. And there's Carmen. Uh, Lodzinski. Lodzinski? Silent M, maybe? That goes to Eric Leal and the Pirates. And a 10 out of 10, Christian Yelich. Going to Rory and his brew crew. What do the Brewers need to do in the offseason? Cubs are rebuilding. I guess the Reds are up and coming, right? There's Shogo Akiyama, speaking of the Reds. 13 out of 50 for Cincinnati. It'll be for EA and the Reds. Know, the Cardinals always seem to be in the mix, but Pirates are rebuilding. And the Brewers could take that, take that division. And we got Justin Foscu. I think people like this kid too, right? Joshua Browning. Joshua B. with Texas. Emerson Hancock. Aristides Aquino die cut. Emerson going to Seattle. That'll be for Patrick. And a Tariq Scooball, 46 out of 99 for Detroit. Grant with the Tigers. All right, and the final box, Bowman's Best, pick your team 11. Next one's coming up shortly after this or in a different video if you're watching the replay of this. And 
the Suns are cruising. 95 to 59 against the Pelicans. Zion's 8 for 10 from the field, though. It's having a solid game, but maybe the rest of the guys aren't. Not with defense like that. There's a Will Smith, the French Prince of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, he was born and raised. On the playground is where he spent most of his days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and playing some baseball outside the school. Coppola with the Dodgers. That is his walk up music, at least in his first at bat. Torkelson going to Grant and the Tigers. Ah, so Darksider is saying no Eloy in this, but there's Tatis, Domingo, uh, Soto, Dominguez, Trout, and Acuna in this. All right. Not bad, not bad. And there's a Logan Allen autograph, Cleveland. That'll be for Stephen Wright. Cleveland, this is for you. There's Justin Dunn to 150. Justin Dunn going to Patrick Cologne and the M's. Pete Crow Armstrong going to Armando with his Mets. I think we might have one more autograph. I wasn't keeping track. Yes, and it's Jordan Yamamoto for the fish. Rookie auto going to Mr. Richard Lindsay and the Marlins. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was eight box. Pick your team number 11 of the recent release 2020. Bowman's best baseball. Here's a quick recap. Thanks, everyone for uh, getting into the action and making it happen. In fact, we've got another full case break coming up right after this in a separate video. So keep an eye out for that one. And I don't know if we're going to have any more to load up in the store, but keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And hopefully we can pop some more of this stuff open. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.